Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and this is your friend Gauri and in today's video we are going to learn how to draw or make a snake game. And I know that you all also love to play this game. And you might be wondering that this beautiful game and enjoyable game can be made in scratch. And that too it might be very very difficult for us to make it but i would like to tell you friends that it is not at all difficult it is a very very simple and easy it has very easy codings so in today's video i'm going to show you how to make it and that too in this scratch 3.0 program and let me tell you friends that if you are working on a scratch 2.0 or in any version there's no harm in it all the blocks are same and if you want to draw in that also you can draw it okay now let's start with it first delete the cat sprite then paint a new sprite i want a green color snake and a darker color and I'll draw a small cute circle and I don't want any borders so I'll do like that and after that I want its eyes so a small small cute cute eyes and then bring it over here bring this also like this and then draw a black color a small little eyes very very small one and bring it over here like this and this one over here like this now if you want to make your this a snake little snake more big you can do like this also but remember friends your eyes will not change it will be the same size only okay now let's start with our coding we'll go to events when flat clicked control forever and before it motions and go to x zero and y zero over here and then we'll go to variables make a variable and write direction and if you don't want to show it over here you can just de-click like this or what you can do is you can click on this so it has hidden now take this over here and write R I G S T. Okay. After that, you have to use and move your snake over here by using your arrow keys. So you go over here and then you will take this and duplicate it four times as there are four keys. Then you will go to variables and then this block set direction to right and then just duplicate it. Okay. This one is right. Make it down. We can do it up and then left okay change this also according to these up arrow and this will be left arrow okay now what you have to do is you have to go over here and take this is equals to sign 
Okay, after taking this, you have to duplicate it four times. Okay, and after that, you have to go to controls and then keep this inside it. Okay, now keep this inside this and over here, go to variables and take direction and do like this. And this will be if direction is equals to right then motion and over here change x by 5 and again go to controls and this inside it keep this over here variables direction left and then we'll take change x by minus 5 and we'll just duplicate it now if we are duplicating it then we don't need these okay now right left then this will be up And this will not be X. Okay. And this will be down. This will be Y. 5. And this will be Y by minus 5. Okay. After this, what we have to do is we have to go to control and create a clone of myself and take it more down create a clone and over here okay by this what will happen that this will create a clone which means a duplicate copy of this one which will exceed like this okay now after this you have to go over here and when after this we'll go over here when i start as a clone and then we'll go wait one second or for showing you i'm doing it 1.0.1 seconds and then delete this clone so let's try what will happen with it see it's running very nicely and you can see all of these are working so now we don't need over here 0 0.1 seconds we have to create another variable with name length okay and we have to fit this over here now i'll hide this variable length okay now now let's see what will happen it's running the same very nice okay now we are half done with it let's create another sprite and i want to take it from the costumes and i'll take a food as usually you can see that it takes apple a lot but in this game i'm going to make a mixture of many so apple just delete one more food banana again food I want something else. Let's find it. Stop, Perry. It's very tasty. Okay. Again, the new one. And um, let me take watermelon. And then I'll take an orange also. And after that, the last one, which I love, which I love a lot is a strawberry okay we 
we will take this strawberry if it's not coming don't worry friends we can take these fruits only or we can just delete it only one we can delete and then we go to food we can take the new one okay like this we can do it now let's again let me take again orange okay now let's start coding for this one now for this one we are going to do is we are going to take when blacklit then motions go to uh, or we can do is we can just after this we can take go to x and y coordinates and then operations over here random position uh, pick random okay and go to x i would like to it be 240 and this will be again 200 and minus 240 and y will be first 180 and second one minus 180 okay i'll do like this and after that we'll go over here and then we'll take forever then i want to change the fruits one by one so i'll go over here next costume and before it i want it that if or when this snake touches this fruit then only it should switch to next costume so i'll do like this and if touching the snake this is right one so i'll do it snake okay so over here if touching the snake then next costume okay and after that we are going to just duplicate it we don't need this we'll take this only then go to x and this all okay this will be the same only now what we are going to do now we want to change the length also so we are going to come over here and then we'll pick up this block and change length by 0 0.1 okay so now let's see what happens let me see is my coding working or not now see friends when i'm eating these fruits the length is automatically increasing in its size and it's really wonderful and fantastic now if you are wanting to change some codings or you want to add and make it complex so you can do and you are free to do it now i want to show that what i have done so i'm just showing you in front of you how i have done it i want that once it touches the edge the game should be stopped and it should be over like it happens in the real game okay now for this what we need is we have to go to control and over here if this then block okay and keep it over here and this if touching edge if touching edge then stop all okay so over here stop all okay so now let's see what happens when it touches so you can see it has touched and everything has been overt okay now if you want that once the game starts the size should be its normal size so what we have to do is for this we need to do that so for this we have to do that that once this flag is clicked it should the length should come to its normal size so 
we will go to events when flag clicked and then that when flag clicked change length by zero or we can do that set length to zero okay now let's see what happens it's increasing its size now let's go to it it has stopped the game now the game is over and now let's check that what happens when we click does the remain the size remains the same or it changes to zero okay see it has changed to zero i'm loving to play it <laughs> you can see that it is working very nicely now if you want you can even add some background over here and you can take that once this touches the edge any edge then the backdrop switches to something like you have lost or the game has been over okay friends so now this is all for today thank you for watching my video and if you liked it don't forget to like share and subscribe it i will be back with my new video till then bye bye